In this video, I'm going to go through a quick and simple overview of the Maclaurin series and when and why we need to learn this in Analysis and Approaches HL. Okay, so the basic idea of a Maclaurin series, which is actually a type of Taylor series, but the idea of a Maclaurin series uh, and a Taylor series is to take any function that we might that we might be given, for this example here, it's e to the power of 2x, and what the Maclaurin series uh, representation or the Maclaurin series expansion of this is, is we want to find some polynomial function that is an approximation for this function, which wasn't a polynomial. So what the idea is, is if we can find some polynomial function that's an approximation of this, well, that allows us to essentially convert any function into a polynomial, which is quite useful because if they're all in polynomials, we might be able to add functions together easily, uh, more easily or differentiate the functions more easily. And as you get more advanced in this topic, you'll realize that it's very, uh, it's very useful if we can describe or approximate all functions as polynomials. So I'll take you through the steps here of the Maclaurin series. What we want to do is look at our function and we want to find the Maclaurin series representation of the function e to the 2x. Okay, let's write this down. f of x is e to the 2x. What we want to do is keep taking the derivatives and you'll see why this is important. So this is quite a simple example here. If we have e to the power of 2x, the first derivative will be 2 times e to the power of 2x, just using our normal uh, differentiation rules. The second derivative will be 4 times e to the power of 2x. The third derivative will be 8 times e to the power of 2x, and this can, can continue on forever. Okay, now next to all of these, what we want to do is then substitute in when x equals 0. And this is actually what makes this a Maclaurin series. If it was just a, a Taylor series, a Taylor series is the is the broader um, the broader topic here. We can take f of any value, but the Maclaurin series is just uh, zeros in here. So let's substitute in zero for all of these. We will get f of zero to be equal to e to the power of two times zero. E to the power of zero is just one, and then we'll have two times e to the power of zero, which is two. We have 4 times e to the power of 0, which is 4. And then we have 8 times e to the power of 0, uh, which is just 8. Now, as, as the derivatives could continue on, we could continue to sub in zeros and we would get all of these terms. But what we can do is now take these and substitute them directly into our Maclaurin series formula, which is in our formula booklet. And what this says is that the Maclaurin series what we can do is find a function f of x, which will be our approximation, our polynomial approximation for whatever function we were given. And it's simply just f of zero, which we have here, plus x times the first derivative of f when we substitute in x equals zero. Now in the formula here, this doesn't actually have a divided by one factorial, but uh, it is quite nice to put this in here because then all of the future terms make sense, but that's an optional step. And then it's plus x squared over 2 factorial multiplied by the second derivative of f when x is 0. And this just continues on. And hopefully we see the pattern. The next term would be x cubed over 3 factorial. This number would, would pair up with this one, as we can see here. And that's multiplied by the third derivative of f when x is 0. And this would just continue on. This is an infinite series here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just find the first four four terms here, and, you, and I'll explain why. So we actually know all of the information already. f of x is just going to be equal to f of zero, which we found already, which is one, so that's a one, plus x over one factorial, which is just x, multiplied by the first derivative of f when x is zero, which is this number here, two. So we have x times two, then we have plus, we have x squared over 2 factorial multiplied by the second derivative of f when x is 0. That's just simply x squared over 2 times our 4 here. And then plus x cubed over 3 factorial multiplied by the third derivative of f when x is 0. That's just going to be x cubed over 6 times 8. And this would just continue on here. So if I'm just going to take these four terms here, I can say that f of x is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 2x squared, after I simplify the 4 and the 2, and likewise here, 4x cubed over 3. 
Now, I stopped here on purpose, because when would we know when to stop? This, this is an infinite series, and that's, that's kind of why this polynomial can approximate uh, any other function, is because if we have just an, an infinite number of terms here being added to each other, what we can do is get closer and closer and closer to an approximation of the original function. But what you will often see is that in exam questions, they will actually tell us to uh, how many terms they want for the Maclaurin polynomial approximation. And in this one here, we have stopped at x to the power of 3. So this here would be the third order Maclaurin polynomial approximation for e to the power of 2x. So the third order, just like when we said we want to find a third order polynomial, we would stop at x to the power of 3. If it said find the fifth order Maclaurin polynomial, we would keep going until we get to the x to the power of 5 term. Okay, now this can be expressed as this capital M for Maclaurin here and a little three. Okay, so this is the, this is the third order Maclaurin polynomial. Okay, so that's just a brief overview of how to solve some of these questions. We just need to simply take the original function, find some derivatives, substitute in zero for all of them, and then it's just simply substituting these into the Maclaurin series formula, which is given to us in our formula booklet. Now, something that uh, you might not know, or you might know, but this is, this is fantastic, is that the IB do give us uh, five special uh, Maclaurin series expansions already here. These are ones that they give us in our formula booklet. If we ever needed to find the expansion of any of these or the, or the Maclaurin series approximation, they've actually already given us the, the work here. We don't need to do any more. So in some questions, they might require us to just go to the formula booklet and understand that, well, sine x, for example, uh, the Maclaurin series polynomial for this is just these terms and we can use them straight away. But if in an IB exam, uh, the we want to find the Maclaurin series representation or the Maclaurin series polynomial for something that's not one of these, we will need to go through the steps that I just showed then. Okay. Now, as this topic continues on, uh, you might have questions where you need to combine multiple series or maybe multiply or take the derivative of, and I encourage you to go to your textbook and maybe have a, maybe have a go at a few of those exercises. But the goal of this video was to make the Maclaurin series just a little bit less scary. It's just a simple process of finding a polynomial that is a nice approximation for a function that was not originally a polynomial. Okay, good luck.